Hi grade 10, so welcome back to another lesson on indigenous bookkeeping. So in the last video I was talking to you about what accounting is, why we do it, and also accounting policies and just a gist. So now I'm going to get into depth with the accounting policies portion of what I was talking about. So before I get into it, I just want you to think about, say for instance, if every business ran its operations differently and every business did what it wanted and recorded however it wanted all of the transactions that were, that were going on in their business it would be very difficult right for there to be any comparison amongst businesses and also for any evaluation any effective evaluation to go on in the same sense if businesses let employees act however they wanted and let everybody do what they wanted there would be a sense of unorderliness right and so that's why we have things like principles put into place which i want to talk to you about the principles as well as ethics which we're going to look into later on right so let's look into um the principles so that we can see if we can better understand that and then i will elaborate more for what i feel needs extra conversation so if you look at my board in very big i've written gaap right which is an abbreviation for the term generally accepted accounting principles right in the name already you know generally means almost everybody as in that's how things should be that's the general or standard way of thing of of operation right so generally accepted accounting principles so these are principles that help with accounting which generally or in a standard business the management and the business should follow these principles right the definition is it is a system right right that is the general framework of accounting right is the general framework of accounting prince concepts principles methods and procedures right so like i said before in the other video this is very important for for rec recording purposes comparison purposes decision making purposes financing purposes it's very difficult to do anything when your accounting books and the state of your business financially in terms of records is not generally accepted because to get funding the bank will require statements that adhere to these principles to sell shares and get a considerable amount for them you need to be able to present statements that impress the shareholder and the only way to impress them is to have generally accepted accounting principles applied and be a viable business to be able to make decisions for your business in terms of what to improve what not to improve these principles have to be put in place in some way or the other so that you can realize that this place is an area of this is an area of improvement this is an area of excellence this is what we should keep doing this is what we should stop doing this is also very good in helping you regulate your staff especially the accounting staff in terms of what they should be doing because when you have no rules and you have no set way to do things you are bound to have a lot of people doing what they think is right or what seems like it makes sense or what seems like it is proper and so having these principles put in place gives a guideline and gives people a path to follow so that there are no arguments about who is right and who is wrong because the principle is clear and it just helps because then there's no confusion around how to deal with specific transactions there's no confusion around who did what and who should have done what it's very simple very clear very straightforward and so there are six generally accepted principles um, and others that are i find there are extras that are really pissed on so i will look into the generally accepted principles with you in the next video and then we can look into what each principle means and how each principle affects the accounting system and it affects um, accounting as a general as a general you know process the one thing i did say i want to go over with you that i want you to think about is the process of accounting where it starts where it ends and how it's going right 
So I did say that you must take into consideration that accounting is a, is a process. So first it's the transaction. I'm not gonna write the whole, the whole word. I just wanna highlight for you so you remember. So first it's the transaction. Then it goes to the journals, right? From the journal, it goes to the T accounts. From the T accounts, it goes to the financial statements. And then from here, we start to make decisions in terms of um, we then evaluate, we then analyze, evaluate, we then analyze, we interpret, and then we make decisions, right? So the process is very important because once you know that you have to start with the transaction, then you know that it's gonna go to the journals, it's gonna go where it's gonna go where it's gonna go where, and then this is what eventually we need to be able to succeed with at the end of it all. So yeah, I hope that this helped you. Next video, I'm going to talk about each and every generally accepted principle, how it affects the, the accounting equation, how it affects accounting in general, and how to deal with each and one, each of those principles in your financial statements. But other than that, I hope that this helped you. Yeah, and thank you for watching. Bye.